welcome this is another fantastic edition of the buzz and with me is my one and only gq magazine the <laughs> dapper boy and dio james thank you girl man i just got me ginger up for today's show yeah it's yeah. all good thank you you know you're looking super fly too man i love all the colors what's going on up there i'm thank feeling it right much. there i mean i'm not sure why you're washing me every time you do i kind of like suspicious she loves the washing though i do but anyway guys man thank <laughs> you for watching the show we're feeling the love yes. of the guys in the UK yes. and in Africa as well. Yeah, definitely they make some noise. Normally it's been, you know, our lovers are all the way from Africa a lot of the time. And now the UK for some reason this past week has just been really, really on board. Yeah. So thank you guys so much. I love that. Keep We're it coming, it. keep it coming. We can never get fed up. At know all. What I'm At all. It's guys, all good. as you know, we always have amazing gist for you. Always, always, always. But today's one is particularly juicy. So mm. don't go anywhere. Thank you, man. Hi, we're Chicane and you're watching Buzz TV. Share you talk, gossip, gossip, you be tea for you to one like. So, classic man Jidenna, you know, the, the guy that came to Nigeria a few years ago and was saying something about the fact that whenever he travelled, he has to be in an armoured car with security. Has now actually come back and he's now extolling the virtues of Nigeria and the benefits that Nigeria is of to him. I stress the fact that he's very impressed with Afrobeat and he also pointed out that Bonner Boy is a little bit underrated mm -hmm. and he's feeling whiskey. He's you know feeling whiskey. Can you imagine that? I mean, the guy is just blowing up everywhere because he came to Nigeria for a couple of concerts. He's been around doing um, interviews. He even went to his old primary school to visit and encourage the children there not to give up on their dreams. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's really doing great, he's isn't he? Yeah, it's far away. Uganda, he worked with um, Eddie Kenzo mm -hmm. and he felt it. He said this guy was really good. And I'm looking forward to what he'll be doing because he said he will be working with some Nigerian yes, artists. Yes, he did. He mentioned the fact that he's going to be working with a couple of artists coming up and I cannot wait because I think he's doing great things. I mean, you know, he's done, you, you, what's that song that he did that I really like? Oh, right. Chief bit, Don't Run. No, no not Chief Don't Run. A little bit more. A little bit more, mm, yeah. That's the I one. really love, and that was the one he spoke a little uh -huh. bit of, you know, yeah, Pigeon. And everybody's <laughs> picking Pigeon now because of Jidenna in America. I'm yeah. loving it. I think he's, he's really doing good things. Yeah, right. you so know? who would you want him to work with to collaborate with? in Nigeria if you had to pick any Nigerian artist for mm. him to work with who would that be you know I would go for Don Jazzy I would himself. because I tell you what I can just imagine in my head what did they know with his voice and then you have the Don Jazzy with his voice coming together I think it'd be beautiful yeah, I like Don Jazzy oh, good, yeah. I would, what would you personally pick flavor to, to get it in touch with its evil roots you know what i'm, I'm saying? loving it but you have yeah. to flavor that you pick huh yeah i was thinking about seeing a final but yeah. i was thinking mm -hmm. but don't you think like flavor is going to like corrupt him because you know jadena is only 30 31 and he said he's not ready to get married and now flavor is all about the and you know well, I don't if know he that. said he's 30 and he doesn't want to get married maybe he's ready to be corrupted <laughs> <laughs> so, I like that. Say, that would be good though but great up on him man keep doing your thing i like that in fact, to talk about the events that have been happening, there's a fantastic actress, a businesswoman who's with us. She's graced up with her presence today. And she's going to join us in talking about these little issues and so many other things. Now we have with us Tayo Shabola, a.k.a. known as Tayo. Yeah, Hi, Tayo. Thank you, girl. Thank you. I'm fine. I'm, I'm feeling very your fine. big right there. Man. What's that? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the oh, end, right. that that was a, mind your realize, business. Uh, we, we know they're Lagos. I'm beginning to suspect you, but it's okay. He likes bling bling a bit too much. Yeah, I do. So, so that, you know, we're, we're talking about this thing with um, Okay Bakati, the comedian. <laughs> what he said last week that being a celebrity is like a curse because you don't have your life no longer belongs to you. Do you feel like that's a curse? Do you feel what he's a curse, he was saying? A curse, a curse, a curse. Maybe yes and no at the same time. Okay. Um, but um, for me, as far as I am concerned, it's not really easy for you to be on people's faces mm. and live your normal life. It's not easy. Okay, like for me and my own end, I say, okay, for I want to eat corn. I can't even go somewhere to sit down by the roadside mm. to eat corn again. And the next thing you just see your, yourself in front of me, a magazine, a soft cell paper, Taya Shabala eats corn by the roadside. <laughs> Excuse me, is it not something that anybody wants to do? Yeah. No, no, it's not. It's, it, yeah, maybe a curse. Mm. But definitely there must be a good thing to this you know like how many dms do you get in a day 
Oh. Empty. Oh. That's the kind of question you would ask. It's plenty. But then we're having a lot of people. every minute. And the next thing, somebody just says, so you don't want to read my message, Abby? Really? Now, wow, all Never. this celebrity self. Now, my fault. Is it your fault? So, wait, wait, wait. If not for God, you'll not be there. <laughs> How many messages do you want to read? What, what, what's the weirdest thing you've ever had in your DM or your inbox from fans or people you don't know? I swear nobody wants to hear. Really? <laughs> that bad? You don't have to hear. And I oh, go, no. is this person normal? Then I go back, click the person's picture. Then I go, I'll be like, oh, no wonder. It's <laughs> now very cheap to... So, so what? The there's internet. no. You're not. You're not Sorry. likely to find uh, a Mr. Right from one of those people. None of them have looked like potential. No. <coughs> We're talking about that. Never. No? <laughs> <laughs> this is your glamorous studio you set up in Niger. Mm -hmm. Like this, my. I saw the video and I was so impressed. It looked amazing. So take us through that journey, right? How did? What you, was the story? Yeah. Why? How? How? Why? I'm shy. How did it happen? <laughs> oh, I thought you were doing words and strike. <laughs> 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 it's it's strike. This one is shy. This one is words and strike. Um, um, well, um, sometime in December, I'm going to be doing like a proper one year anniversary for my entertainment company. Then um, the event coming up is going to be a five in one event and it's going to be a big one in Lagos. And uh, of course, I'm working with um, my manager, my UK manager and um, friend, Billy Q Entertainment is going to be the one in charge of it. And um, Okay, like I said earlier, one year anniversary, it's my birthday, it's um, the unveiling of my movie Academy. It's um, um, like a proper exhibition of all the movies that the company has produced for the year. And of course, I've got this some um, charity thing that I do as well. So I have um, some things that I'm also unveiling on that time, on that day and that date. So don't worry, sometime somewhere in December, everything is going to come out and it's going to pop out like... Oh my God! So guys, Andy. Uh -huh. So I'm um, Lupita Younger. Yeah, Lupita, yeah. you know the Mexican, Kenyan Good Mexican actress, petite woman. Uh -huh. She is finally revealed in whose arms she's been catching some feelings. Oh my God! Mm. Mm. It's not you. Um, okay. All I know is that I can tell you this: she's gone to Nigeria. Don't judge it. You did it. No. You're such an idiot. <laughs> no, it's not the. <laughs> It's not as jazzy. It could might as well be this guy is a GQ style, GQ magazine style editor. He's a fashion editor. And his name is Mobolaji Dawudu. And the Ooh, guy is she fine. Went there. Yeah, went she, did. Gold, she went for go. She went for go. You know, good looking guy and everything. And I'm so excited for them because, you know, they've been keeping their thing low down finally. Yeah. You know, he's out there. Oh, man. That thing. should prove to all you Kenyans in Nigeria fighting on Twitter over nothing that we need to get together. You know, there's love there. What is that thing about oh, the fight? What, what's actually going on? The, the, just been blowing Twitter up, but I, I haven't followed it. Oh, well, uh, the Facebook guy, uh -huh. uh, you know, what's Mark, his name? Mark uh, Zuckerberg. Mark yeah, Zuckerberg. he already went to Nigeria, yep. had a good time, then yeah. went to Kenya, probably didn't have enough of Nigeria, went back to Nigeria. Oh my God, there was so much people going on. People just started cussing themselves out. The Kenyans came up with hashtag Kenya versus Nigeria. But wait, and Andy, wait, wait, I'm a bit confused. You're saying that the reason they're fighting is because Mark Zuckerberg went to Nigeria, stayed for as long, went to Kenya, didn't stay too long, came back to Nigeria? Yeah, and they were just beefing, said, why should he visit Nigeria twice? You it know? sounds so stupid so to me. Stuff. I, you know, social media, I see all kinds of crazy stuff. And I'm, you know, there's nothing su that surprises me anymore. But what you guys right. need to do is you guys need to be like Lupita and Mobolaji and just unite. It is one and the same. Fourth marriage. You know, <laughs> <laughs> speaking of uniting, <laughs> yeah. you're telling me about somebody ununiting. Oh, yeah, Nadia Nakai. Nadia oh, Nakai. The um, family tree artist yeah. by Caspan Yoves. Yeah, she broke up with, I mean, they decided to call it up. Her and her ex boyfriend. So they consciously uncoupled themselves, yeah, basically. With, yeah, yeah, dot com. No, but that's so and, sad. Um, I like, I've that's always liked Nadia and dot com. I always yeah, have. They were, they look what, good why together. though? They did. No, why? They just said they wanted to go apart because they wanted to work on themselves as an artist. They wanted to grow. They needed time and space to grow. So I, I don't think, think that's, that's a good enough such, excuse. It's such rubbish if you ask me because I don't know why you need to separate from somebody you care about if you want to develop yeah, or with grow. the right person the person will help you grow yeah you have patience you know so maybe they're just like so maybe this is like when people are with the wrong people and they want to quit and don't know how to they just yeah. go oh we want to grow I, don't I know it's just from. an excuse it's kind of like having a goosey for every, you know all the time and really you bored and you just want to try something else and really and see seriously okay maybe Seri that's like, like the metaphor you're going to use right now oh, seriously? Right, let's just leave that <laughs> Ha ha ha.